Hi, Jamie here from Container Build Group. Today we're installing another large luxury home. Uh, it's going to be 14 shipping containers made out of 20 foot high cubes. Uh, there's going to be a double story with polished concrete in the middle. And today we're just loading up the container, so we're just getting ready for that in the next 20 minutes. So we're going to film, we're going to go onto site, we're going to um, show you and, and, and explain to you how the installation is going to work. Uh, with the cranes and everything like that, with the with the groundwork that's already been done on site, uh, and uh, we're going to show you through the process of uh, a luxury home build. Okay, we're on site now, um, so we're about to get the crane set up, and I uh, just wanted to go through a couple of things here with the groundwork that's been done. So one of the main benefits of, of doing a container house is the fact that we can do a lot of the groundwork here with another building team while we've been building containers uh, at our factory. As you can see behind me here. Uh, the containers will sit on the steel posts that you see here, right around. There's 14 containers to, to go in. In the middle section here is all going to be filled with concrete after the containers have been delivered. Um, and it's all going to be polished concrete in the middle. Okay, so what we've done here is um, this, this block work here. Okay, this is basically to um, encase the uh, under the floor for the concrete. Um, so what will happen is the containers will line up through here, right around, uh, and then that will be filled up with concrete up to the same floor height as the actual container floor. So there's a little bit more work involved in, in doing it that way, um, but it's going to give a much better uh, finish uh, internally. You've got your groundworks done for your services, your electrical conduits, uh, there's plumbing pipes all, all situated through, so you can just connect directly underneath the containers. So it's, as far as install on site is concerned, everything's done on the inside as far as lights, power points, ceiling fans, the whole lot is installed ready to go uh, and then it's just a matter of just hooking in underneath uh, for your Sparky on site so it, it's just the whole thing is sped up, the process is sped up tenfold once it gets in. While we're setting up the crane we'll just thought we'd show you through the septic system for this particular house. So every council is different so they do have their own requirements. In this particular case depending on the, how many bedrooms the house has got, how many bathrooms uh, will depend on what size system has got to go in. Here we've got a 3,000 litre septic tank here and two rebeds. Um, basically, and, and you've got your two ETA trenches down here, which is uh, all buried up now, so it all looks nice and pretty and you can mow it and it's, um, it'll take care of all the um, septic and water waste from the house. The container house is, is fairly straightforward. The, the, the dimensions are all the same. Uh, your footings are very simple as well, they're only just a short, this in particular is a short round post. It goes in 500 deep, 500 wide, filled with concrete. So basically the containers get loaded on, once the containers are in place we can just weld them directly to the post and you've got an extremely strong house. Your basic tool for this job for installation is your little stick welder like this. A little portable thing you can walk around quite easily. Uh, once the containers are loaded on the steel post, you just give it a tack weld on, get it all in position, and then you can do a full weld once the whole house has been installed. We wanted to do a house that was not in the norm, but we wanted something that was expressing our personality easy to do and to give us the result we wanted. We chose Container Build Group because they're a local company, although with containers, once they go in the back of the truck, the location is almost irrelevant because they can, can be shifted anywhere. We could go down and see them during all phases of the build. They were built in a factory, which meant the weather was not a hold up at any time during the, their build of it. And that once they came out on site, 80% of the work is done. So the whole process in a normal building, now you know you've got about three months left in front of you. In this case, we've got about a month before we're moving in. 
No, it's good to see it all come together. Everyone seems happy, including me. Innovative. It seems to go together fairly quickly. I, I think it can be quite a quite a comfortable house to live in. They seem to be fairly well switched on. Um, I haven't, from a council perspective, they haven't been a problem to deal with. Jamie from Container Build has been in contact with us on quite a few occasions. Um, I visited the factory to see how the works are done out there. So when you keep all that type of communication does help the approval process go through a lot smoother. Mainly we look at it is the engineering certification for it to ensure that it's going to be structurally sound building. The engineer's plans which I've got here, um, they detail how to put them together, the footings that are needed, the piers, the slab work that has to be all done. That all comes in and you, you can see that yes, putting all these containers together will, will then result in a a unique style of house. This is the last one getting delivered now, so what's happening here is we're holding this container off, off, the, off the top of it by 100 mil. That allows our plumber to get in here and just pull all the plumbing pipes through to the next one. I'll show you inside. So what we do is we have um, our pipes from upstairs bathroom, they'll connect through this access hole. We'll join them, we'll hide it in the access and then we'll, we'll uh, sheet these uh, ceilings on site after install. Get a nice streamlined finish.